Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, we're gonna do some compression. Now for any beginners out there, let's have a quick explanation of what compression is. I won't dwell on it too much because most of you probably do know what compression is. It's basically turning down the peaks on a vocal performance such as this. You see all the peaks here, tons and tons of peaks, and we've got quiet words and loud words, and we need this to be level. And that's what compression does. So you set a threshold, let's say here, and everything above that threshold will get turned down, therefore leveling out the performance. And then you turn the whole thing up with makeup gain to put the volume back into your performance. So you end up with a much, much smoother and level performance. To show you that on the actual compressor itself. So dynamics compressor, just using the stock compressor. Here's your threshold here, which is this little parameter here. Now let's just turn the ratio up so you can see that it's actually doing something. So when I adjust the threshold, I'm adjusting where compression starts to take place. So for example, minus 30 dBs, anything after this point here starts getting reduced by whatever setting you've got in the ratio. So four to one or five to one, whatever. So if you've got five dBs coming in over the threshold, it will come out at one dB. So it's turning it down by four dB. So where do you set the threshold, you may ask? Well, you basically listen to it and you don't want any compression on the really quiet words. So you probably set it about here, for example. You don't want to be reducing the already quiet words, really, but you want to be taking down all the peaks. And on the other hand, you know, you've, you've got to balance the act out here. You've got to balance your requirements for the track. We won't be doing hard compression here because it's a slow, laid back track, as I keep saying. If you've got a screamy, rocky type track or where the vocals need to be slammed and level, then that's completely different. You'd have harder compression. So lower threshold, higher ratios, that kind of thing, like a rap track or a rock track, like something like that, where it just needs to be sort of up front in your face. But why do we need compression in the first place? Good question. Well, the human voice is very dynamic. Even if it's spoken or sung, it's very dynamic. And dynamic means there's a wide range of volume. So people talk very loudly. So some words are very loudly. Some words are very softly. And that's the same for singing. Now, what is the problem with that in music and songs and records? Well, if it's not consistent, then the quieter words will not be heard very well above the rest of the instruments. And the louder words are going to jump out and sound janky. So that's why we must have a level or more level vocal performance. So it sits with the other instruments. So the more instruments you've got in the background, the more level and probably the harder you need to go with the compression. This is a very minimal track, so we don't need to worry too much about it, but we still need to level it out a bit. So before we get into attack and release settings, which we will do, because that adds another dynamic to compression, let's set our threshold level. So let's just, for example, loop this bit here and we want to set this just turn this down a bit we want to set the threshold so it's not really compressing this word here so let's just have a play around and you'll just keep your eye on here this is the gain reduction meter so when this white bar goes down that's when it's re reducing the volume and compressing it all starts getting off the plane hot in your face blowing up your brain you know Okay, so let's just turn it up a little bit. Uh, sorry, back off the threshold a little bit. Uh, we're looking for these quiet words. It all starts getting off the plane. Hot in your face, blowing up your brain. You know. So the you know didn't bring any game reduction at all. So that's good. Just check this word here. Show you. Show you had a tiny bit of reduction. So that's probably in the ballpark for the threshold. Yeah. Show you. 
Mark Shaw, pick up the bags here. So the threshold level is probably in the right area. Let's just check out the rest of this vocal, though. You can't just sort of do it that quickly. So high, and this will never get home. The beast gonna flow in our favorite bars. A river of I want a bit more compression on that pre chorus. Bringing it down a little bit. Flying so high, and this will never get home. The beast gonna flow in our favorite bars. A river of Yaga will be in heaven at large. And now. I think it's in the right place. It might be a little bit too severe. I'm now going to get my eyes away from this and just focus on the audio, use my ears. Whoa, whoa, oh, crazy nights. Are oh, there whoa, oh, best nights? That's choking it a bit too much for my liking. Choking it, what I mean by that is it's grabbing the peak and it's, and it's really pulling it down like too severely for this style of track so i'm going to go for less ratio and less threshold particularly on uh, crazy nights oh, whoa, oh, crazy nights are there what oh, best nights so this this what oh are there what oh, best you can hear it pulling it down which is fine just want to control it though. So let me just demonstrate that with a higher ratio. Uh, the war, oh, best. You can really hear that pulling it down. Uh, the war, oh, best. So this brings me to my point about two compressors. I would rather have two compressors working lightly than one severe compressor choking the sound, which is what this is. Now, a lot of people do use four, five, six to one. On some people, I've seen. I've seen some people use limiters, which is a 20 to 1. And it can have the desired result. I'm not saying it's the wrong thing to do, but it's not what I want to do on this track. So I want to bring this right down, 2 to 1. Oh, crazy nights. Are there what? Oh, best nights. Can you see why now that we even turned some of these down and some of these up right back in the comp stage? Because it's affecting the compressor so much that it just helps. And even now we can split these gains up. So if there's a word that is not quite coming out as it should, as in it's a bit low, you can still use the scissor tool. Let's just do it to show you. So let's just say, let's just say that this word here wasn't quite loud enough. You just snip it out, go back to your normal tool, highlight it, and then you just clip gain it. So this is called clip gaining or clip reducing. You'd think that the compressor, oh, I don't need to do that because the compressor does it all. Well, it, the compressor does a good job, but if you want to do an absolutely perfect job, you can manually come in and just tweak a few words here and there. Don't be afraid to do that. I've seen many, many professionals do this. Or if the compressor is being choked too much, maybe go in there and clip reduce that particular peak yourself. Help the compressor out a little bit. But my sort of technique is to put a couple of different compressors on and but before we do that i want to just explain to you what attack and release is attack is how quickly the compression starts to take place after the signal has gone above the threshold and the release is the opposite once the signal drops below the threshold how long does the compressor take to release it and send it back to where it began now the significance of these controls is this. If you want to let the peak through, the transient through, of, so the start of each word, and then pull down sort of straight after. So let's just give you an example. You may want to let through this little transient here and then compress the rest of it. So bring the rest of it down. So therefore you'd have the attack a bit slower, maybe 30 to 50 milliseconds, let's say. And it's going to let through that transient and then compress the rest of it. Then the effect that that will have is that your words will sound more punchy. The performance will have more punch because the, uh, the, uh, the start of each word is more emphasized. So this would be good for a rap song, you know, like an aggressive rap song or aggressive rock 
lyrics or vocals rather that kind of thing if you're doing a very very slow ballad like Adele or something like that that's not really the style you want to go for it's not supposed to be punchy it's not supposed to be aggressive it's just supposed to be smooth and lovely if you like to really accentuate the voice so you would use in that situation a very very quick attack and the release you can set again so it's in time with the sort of aggressiveness of the track or the, the tempo of the track you sort of have to use your ear really for that but a ballpark figure is probably around 80 milliseconds and you can always use auto release so Cubase will analyze the audio and try to determine that for you so I'm going to use a very very quick attack I want to sort of pull down these peaks but I want to pull them down very gently so enough chatting, let's have a listen through. It all starts getting off the plane Hot way in your face, blowing up your brain, you know And hot vibes gonna drive you insane It's gonna be a riot tonight Show ya Mark sure, pick up the bags here From the machine, grab a nice cold beer Freaking beaming from ear to ear it's gonna be a riot tonight Hot way in your face, blowing up your brain So we're still getting 5 to 6 dBs of gain reduction And it does sound quite levelled out already So I'm, because I'm planning to put a second compressor on I'm going to back this off even more And put a second compressor on For more smooth compression it all starts getting off the plane Hot way in your face, blowing up your brain, you know And hot vibes gonna drive you insane It's gonna be a riot tonight And over here, I haven't quite mentioned this yet Auto makeup gain or manual makeup gain So this is the volume you put back into the track Because we're turning stuff down all the time Therefore the overall volume goes down So this is where you put makeup gain back in so you've got the same volume where you started at you can use auto makeup gain or you can use manual the thing to do is to do before and after and just make sure so bypass here and just make sure your volume is roughly the same it all starts getting off the plane hot way in your face blowing up your brain you know and hot vibes gonna drive you insane it's gonna be a riot tonight show ya Mark Shaw, pick up the bags here From the machine, grab a nice cold beer And this parameter over here is like a soft knee or a hard knee Again, that's to do with how severe the compression is So if you go hard knee, forgive me, that's actually high ratio So that would be like 20 to 1 That would be like limiting But this dial here or parameter here is called soft knee And it would just smooth out your compression a little bit So We'll put that on. It all starts getting off the plane. Hot way in your face, blowing up your brain, you know. And hot vibes gonna drive you insane. It's gonna be a riot tonight. Now, normally you wouldn't have the guitars in there, but I just wanted a reference to see what the vocals sounded like with the vocals. Sorry, with the guitars. So let's put on another one, and this time I'm gonna put on a tube compressor. So maybe add a little bit of colour to the sound. So let's go for tube compressor. Again, it's a stock plugin. Maybe it's only an artist and pro, but let's see what this can do. So we've got input drive here, which is like your threshold. So you put the input up until you start getting reduction. Show ya. Mark show, pick up the bags here. So this is more like an analog sort of VU meter, you'll get a reduction on the level shown here. From the machine, grab a nice cold beer. And you've got a bit of drive here, which is tube drive. So it might add a bit of character, a bit of harmonics to your sound. You've also got a character knob. And again, you've got attack and release. You've also got a mix knob as well. So we're only on 50% here, which is probably a good idea. And you've got output here. So there's your makeup gain. Freaking beaming from ear to ear It's gonna be a riot tonight 
Bumping down in the middle of the road Flying so high and this will never get home The beer's gonna flow in our favorite bars A river of Jäger will be in heaven at large Whoa, whoa, oh, crazy nights Are the whoa, best nights So the character button seems to be adding a little bit of distortion onto the top end which is nice in small doses, so just be careful. I'll turn it off and then turn it on. Six in the morning, you never wanna go back home. Sort of adding a bit of crunch. I quite like it, actually. And let's see what driver's doing. It all starts getting off the plane. Hot wind in your face, blowing up your brain, you know. And hot vibes gonna drive you insane It's gonna be a riot tonight That's kind of doing the same thing It's adding a bit of sort of harmonics at the top A nice distortion, I suppose you could call that So we just want not too much of that But a little bit of that and Don't forget, if this is all too much for your sound You can always just dull back the mix a little bit Or add a bit more So I think our vocal is quite flattened out now it all starts getting off the plane Hot when you f It all starts getting off the plane Hot when your face blowing up your brain You know And hot vibes gonna drive you insane It's gonna be a riot tonight So I think I might just bounce this down so you can, you can compare the waveforms So you can see here that the peaks on the original waveform have sort of gone away but we've still got quite a nice dynamic performance so we never slammed it too much which was the whole idea so we've got rid of the nasty peaks and we've leveled out the performance the quiet words are almost the same volume as the loud words but we still have some dynamics in there which is exactly what I wanted so I just wanted to show you that I'm just going to undo that because I want to keep the compression on there in case we want to adjust it later so there's some good tips on how to compress the main vocals. I'm going to apply the same process to vocals, but I will be giving it a bit more beef, if you like, a bit higher ratios. In other words, compressing those a little bit more, because they're going to be panned left and right. They're going to be quite low in the mix, and we want them to be consistent in the chorus to back up the main vocal. It's a different kettle of fish completely. You generally want to sort of even them out a little bit more. But the main lesson here is how to compress main vocals for this style of track. I really hope that was useful for you guys. I hope you've learned a little bit about compression and how to use it with attack and release times and all that kind of thing. And I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye bye.